Hello, this is Eric from Pyro Boom, and today what we want to do is we're going to review a Red Dragon igniter. Now what I have here is just a one meter igniter, and it's about three feet long, but they come in meter lengths. We sell the one meter, the three meter, and the five meter. So what we have here is the igniter. What we want to do is show how, show how it works. Well, what these are used for is electronic firing, and you can use them on a wireless system, a wired system, your homemade system, they should work. It doesn't require a whole lot of voltage to light one of these off. And what's nice about these particular igniters is they ship anywhere in the United States. So no problem. You don't need a special license or anything to purchase these. And anywhere you can, you can, we can ship these. Uh, <clears throat> what's nice about these as well is it comes with an orange wire, which is nice because you're on the field and looking around. It's like, ah, oh, there's an orange wire. You know how to, you want to make sure that you avoid it or to make, you know, you'll know where you're, um, wire is so you don't run over it which is kind of nice or especially walk over it because I've done that before but you always want to be looking down so what we have here is to show you how to to light one of these and what we're going to do is we're going to use our control desk and we have a module already so we're going to hook, hook it up we'll turn the power on to this guy and I'm going to go ahead and pull off the little sleeve that it comes with kind of spread these out a little bit kind of make it look like a little almost like a little fork about that far apart. I'm going to put these on cue number one. And I'm going to slide it in just like that. And I'm going to turn on my system. Now, this is all set up ready to go. So I have my little module here. I have my little unit. If you notice, there's a lot of wire on this guy here that's hanging out. So if you don't want, if you want to avoid, um, you know, just in case it doesn't touch another one, you can actually, because they're already pre cut, you can fold it over. And let me demonstrate that just so you know what I'm talking about. Just disconnect it here. And see how the wire's here. If you just want to fold these over a little bit. I mean, it's a personal preference, but you can, if you want to, you can grab it and give it a good tug and separate it some more. Just fold it over. Kind of shorten the length a little bit so it fits nice and it's no problem. So if you're worried about that, touch another wire. So we'll go ahead and hook that up. Slide it in there. And you notice it fits a little more, a little more in there so it's not as bad so it shouldn't touch the other ones so you can see we hooked it up here it doesn't matter which way you hook it up in other words uh, there's no particular positive or negative on these little guys and what's cool about this particular system is we have a little green light and that means we have continuity this guy's ready to go and continuity is simply just a little bit of voltage going through the wire and making sure that this thing's ready to fire and to fire this guy, we'll go ahead and I'm going to actually slide the wire. Notice how it has like a closed pin on the guy. If I squeeze that, um, you probably can't see in the video, but there is a little wire in there, a little nichrome wire. I'm actually going to move the wire out of the way. See how I push it out of the way. And what that does is it allows the alligator clip just to open up just a tad further. Not too much, but it does buy a little more space. I'm going to go ahead and leave this open. I'm going to hit the fire button and I'll show you the cue. See how it's green there? So let's hit fire and watch the thing light. And that would get the little little bit of smoke there, but this will uh, light your fuse. Notice how this is expired; it's gone. This is a one-time use. We want we can go ahead after our show's over, or when you're ready to clean up, you just pull it out. And if you want to keep the wire for yourself or some little project or something, that's fine. But this thing on the end, it's done, and it's no longer can be used. So we're going to go ahead and discard this guy. Now, one of the things that we want to uh, we have a new one here. One of the things we want to keep in mind about these um, little igniters is, again, I push that out of the way. When you clip it onto your cake or your fuse, what I like to do is open this up, and you're going to actually slide it in this way. You know, this is a good point. Uh, I watched uh, one of my friends uh, talk about this where he pushed it through this way. You probably don't want to push it through because that might bust the wire. You want to come in from the side and just clip it down like that. And you can actually squeeze it a little bit. But in essence, you really want to leave this alone. Because if I grab this and pull this, it's going to rip that little nichrome. Because it is small. It's like it is like a hairline in there, that wire is. So you want to be real careful. It does have a little bit of give to it. But you really don't want it. You want to set it and forget it. So you, like, I, like I did, I pushed it down a little bit. And that actually wraps the little nichrome of wire. Kind of loops around the fuse. And you can, this, be a, this could lead to... Uh, a cake or a shell or whatever you want in the light, but this is just your standard three millimeter visco fuse that you see in a lot of cakes and a lot of shells. So I am actually not going to light this because I don't want this fuse to burn here at this point. But that's how you would attach it. 
uh, your fuse on there. One of the things, if you have a cake, like a 500 gram or 200 cake, you want to go ahead and take this little nichrome uh, red igniter here, and you want to put some maybe some tape right over top of this. You know, we'll just pretend this is a cake. You're going to want to go ahead and you know put some tape, some duct tape or something like that, just to kind of tape it down. And I have some actually some tape right here, and I'll kind of demonstrate. So again, just for illustration purposes, just pretend this is a cake. We'll get some tape, and you're going to want to tape this guy down. And if you cover it up, it's no big deal. And maybe you want to even add some more tape to it, add a little bit. And you can use different lengths, obviously. But now when I pull on this, it's not going to, you know, it's not going to wiggle around. So this will be the side of your cake or something, or your rack or whatnot. But go ahead and taper it down. So that's how you would use one of these. And, uh, of course, you got any questions or anything like that, just give us a shout out. And hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for watching and light up the sky.